Good morning and thank you. So I'm Richard Russo, CEO of Endomedics and the lead investor. Endomedics has invented a unique chemistry platform. The first spinoff is an absorbable hemostat with the first indication for brain and spine surgery. This is a large, high-value application where we have IP-protected strategic advantages. M&A activity and transaction value, valuations in this sector are high. There have been major advances in neurosurgery, but surgeons are still working with the same technology to control bleeding first introduced in 1945. The devices are slow-acting, an issue because these are used multiple times per case. These swell in use, 20 to 200 percent, producing mass effects and reoperations. The devices are opaque, not allowing real-time verification of effectiveness. The obtainable serviceable market is large, 5.4 million procedures annually in the U.S. and targeted OUS markets. This produces a $1.8 billion market at current prices. After neuro, we will introduce plexiclidin to other surgical markets, a flowable form into MIS surgery, such as laparoscopy and non-hospital trauma. Now, Plexiclide is a handheld device that sprays biopolymer solutions that form a structured and dynamic device in situ. The unique and patented mechanisms of action provide hemostasis in about 20 seconds, 30 times faster than the standard of care, without requiring the use of tedious manual compression or drugs. Importantly, Plexiclide gently shrinks instead of swelling and is transparent. Now, this slide shows Plexiclide being being used in a type of bleeding that the doctor will use an absorbable hemostat when they can't use electrocautery. The uh, excess blood is removed from the site and plexiclide is sprayed onto this porcine liver as a model. As you can see, it's transparent. It forms very quickly in approximately two seconds. Uh, the blood uh, turns dark as the clot forms and it is effective in about 15 seconds in this situation, 19 seconds in the overall trial. Three competitors jointly control 95% market share in this uh, in the neuro market. All three devices are based on the same legacy technology and are slow acting, swell in use, are opaque, and require manual compression and drugs for efficacy. We use a small internal team con uh, surrounded by a constellation of world class subject matter experts. I'm a veteran of two prior startups with exits. With strong regulatory experience, Piyush Modek, our VP of R&D, is an accomplished biomaterial scientist who led the creation of the technology, working with consultants such as Mike Jaffe, past chair of the polymer section of the American Chemical Society. We've tested plexiclide in three animal trials in the model preferred by FDA, obtained 10 issued patents, and have a, an agreement with the U.S. Army for battlefield application. According to Silicon Valley Bank, most PM, most class three devices are required prior to final FDA approval. Here's a partial list of such experts, exits provi uh, provided by SVB as a courtesy. This is our timeline as we drive toward our first major exit opportunity for endomedics. This slide presents our base case pro forma plan for neuro plexiclide in neurosurgery only. And we are closing our seed round of $4.2 million, offering preferred stock and with a 10% Warren coverage at a $7 million pre-money valuation. Please note the 20% rebate available from New Jersey. We'll be using the cash for production scale, scale up and dispenser design and production. Um, my details for contact are on the right-hand side. I hope to hear from you.